What up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to try to take a spore print for the first time. Now the mushrooms that you're looking at right now are the mushrooms that we grew using the all-in-one bag. I'm going to take two of these mushrooms and try to make a spore print. To make spore prints, it's a straightforward process, but people do it different ways. Since this is my first time doing it, I'm going to use the easiest method that i found so far, but we can try other methods in the future. As always, the first thing that I do is I spray my hands with 70% iso alcohol. Then I wipe down the tools that I'm using, which in this case is a scalpel. I'm also using a 12 quart shoe box, which is not an actual shoe box. It's a plastic Sterlite container. Next, you can see that I took a piece of aluminum foil and I put it in the bottom of the container. For the next step, all you wanna do is you wanna identify which caps you're gonna use to make your prints. For all my other rookies, just like myself, you don't need the stems to make a spore print. So once you identify which mushrooms you wanna use, you can either harvest the entire mushroom or you can just cut off the cap and you're gonna put it right on the aluminum foil. You can see that I harvested the entire mushroom. I'm gonna cut the cap off and I'm gonna put it gills down on the aluminum foil. For my first time doing this, I wanna do at least two. So let me identify another mushroom and do the same thing. What's so great about spore prints is it's an easy way to save the genetics that you're growing. There's a bunch of ways that you can save the genetics and clone your mushrooms, but we'll be talking about that at a later time. And we will definitely do videos in the future of other methods like taking a spore swab and a tissue culture. But anyways, once you have your caps on the aluminum foil, you just want to put a drop or two of water on top of the cap. Once you do that, you're going to take the lid and you're going to put it on top. I made sure that I cleaned the bottom of the lid before I put it on top and I'm going to let this chill out for 24 hours. All right, guys, so it's been 24 hours. As always, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my hands again, 70% iso alcohol. Now let's open up this shoe box. You want to carefully remove the mushroom caps. And you can see under here, we have our spore print. Awesome. This worked great for my first time. So as you can see, getting the spore print is very easy. All you want to do now is you want to tear your aluminum foil in half, fold up the ends, make sure that you label it with what type of mushrooms and the date and then put them in your refrigerator with the rest of your spores, your spore prints, and everything else that you got going on. Put it in the refrigerator and you're good to go. Coming up on the channel, I'm gonna be showing you guys how we take the spore prints and we go to agar. Also, we're gonna be talking about taking your multi-spore syringes and also putting them to agar as well. You will find this video in the How To Mycology playlist on the channel. If you wanna follow all the other content that I have on the channel, check out the different playlists that's available. Finally, I wanna thank Inoculate The World for coming on as a sponsor on the channel. Click my link tree link in the bio to get more information. Make sure you come over to the rookiemycologist.com and get you some merch. The shirts, the stickers, and the hoodies have been selling the best. And just recently, the coffee mugs have really been selling. I really appreciate all of you. And until I see you guys the next time, peace guys, Rookie out.